document processing and management has been one of the challenging areas at public sector for years now. We have narrowed down these challenges into four areas. Let's look at them. The first challenge, at any point of time, you will see there are way too many documents coming into any public sector agency due to legal and policy compliance. The second challenge, way too many document types, paper, email, PDF, Word, Excel, fax, documents attached to email, you name it and they have. The third challenge, these documents could be typed into or handwritten and sometimes both. And the fourth challenge, public sector agencies need to classify these documents into right category, case type, manage these documents with right names into right folders, archive them for a specific number of years for legal reasons so that you can always go back to them, process them, research them, read from these documents, enter data from these documents into multiple systems. And a lot of times these systems are legacy systems, mainframe systems, upload and download these documents into multiple systems. All these are requirements. Now, what are the consequences from these challenges? Because of high volume of documents, types of documents and the amount of systems public sector employees have to deal with, there are huge backlogs, which causes slower turnaround time. And then there will be pressure to process these documents and cases associated with them faster, which causes inaccurate data entered into systems, which in turn causes frustrated customers, frustrated employees, and sometimes even revenue loss for these agencies. We have narrowed down all the forms processed by these public sector agencies into four different sections. Standardized forms, standard documents, not so standard documents and non-standard documents or unstructured documents. Let's look at these categories. Standardized forms. Since it's public sector, there are a lot of standardized forms and the public sector agencies have created these forms. These forms are tax forms, application forms, benefit enrollment forms, compliance forms. Every few years, there is a new version of these forms that come out and citizens working with the agencies have to use the right form, has to use the right version. So ingesting these forms, managing and processing them is easy compared to the non-standard forms or unstructured documents. The biggest challenge here would be the volume, how these forms come into the agency, like fax, email, PDF, mail, and how were these forms filled, handwritten or typed into. The next set of documents is standard documents. These are the documents that are issued by these agencies or some other agencies. And these documents are required to validate data. So we know how they look like, what data is in there already. So processing them is not a challenge. Again, the challenge is the way it comes into the agency. The third set of documents are invoices, purchase orders, contracts, receipts, there is some standard to these documents, but we know that it's coming from different contractors, different vendors, so they have their own template. Although the type of data on these documents could be very similar. Dealing with these forms are not easy compared to the standard documents or the standard forms. The last type, unstructured documents. And these are email, faxes, resumes, all sorts of unstructured data, all sorts of communication that citizens do with the public sector agencies.
UiPath solution of end-to-end intelligent document processing combined with the power of automation platform has been helping public sector agencies in all these areas. State and local agencies are using UiPath platform to process benefits, COVID test results, drug test notices, driving license permits, to verify death certificates, auto registration, and the federal government agencies are using UiPath to process COVID vaccine cards for employees, process tax forms, military purchase forms, procurement documents, invoices and purchase orders in huge volumes. This used to take days and weeks for these agencies to process and manage these documents manually, and now they are doing it in hours. I will first classify public sector into two sections where document understanding and UiPath business automation platform can be extremely helpful. The first is the mission areas. This is the core business of public sector agencies where they serve citizens. Under mission areas, the first area benefits. Public sector agencies can reduce the time taken to process benefits by digitizing applications. Now these can be any document type and however they get into the organization. Process documents between multiple systems and these systems can be off the shelf systems like ServiceNow, SAP, Salesforce, or legacy systems and even mainframe applications. Security. In the area of security, and a lot of agencies are doing this already, we feel they can automate the entire business process rather than one or two use cases. To see the full advantage of what UiPath business automation platform can bring to the table. So processing immigration and visa documents faster by digitizing them. Create an accurate database with well classified documents. Reduce backlog. Quick turnaround to reduce security risk. Tax. Reduce backlog to increase customer satisfaction. Now in the area of tax, we understand that there are a lot of tax policy and code changes in the last couple of years, which has resulted into a lot of backlog. Using automation, we should be able to process these backlogs faster, sync data between systems, have automations gather accurate data for case research and case audit, and manage documents better across the departments so that every department doesn't have to reach out to the customer asking for the same document. Let's talk about the next section, back office. Just like private sector, public sector has back office departments that handle all the administrative tasks for the public sector agencies. Talking about human resources, the HR team has to deal with a lot of documents during talent acquisition, pre-boarding and onboarding. Just imagine how many resumes have to be processed before hiring one single person. And when you decide to hire that person, there are so many documents required to validate and verify identity, to look at taxes, to conduct background clearance. All these can be handled by document understanding and automations so that human resources and the probable employee doesn't have to deal with these documents and do data entry into multiple systems. Talking about finance, there are a lot of documents that go back and forth between the finance departments of public sector agencies. These documents can be digitized, classified and managed very easily with document understanding and with UiPath's integration with finance financial systems like SAP. Procurement or supply chain. Employees in this department have to create a lot of documents for contracts, purchase orders, extensions and all. Employees have to make sure these documents are accurately created, they follow compliance requirements, and when they receive documents, they need to be processed, classified, managed and uploaded into multiple systems. 
all these can be easily handled with document understanding and using the automation platform you can automate the entire process i feel we have just scratched the surface with du at public sector there are so many more automations that are being built right now with document understanding at public sector agencies and once these automations come to life and once the leaders realize the value that these document understanding related automations are bringing to their mission critical business processes they'll only want more i'm super excited for the future of document understanding at public sector agencies Thank you.